Now I'll take a look at the pictures of the house. You want the before pictures and after pictures? I here? do. Okay, all the pictures. They're labeled in there. Yeah. Your Honor. I want you to look at these pictures, Mr. Bennett. I just want you to tell me if these are pictures of the house that you rented. Make sure you tell me the truth, because I'm going to bring Mr. Ford back in here and ask him the same question. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Ask him the same question. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Those are the pictures of the house before you moved in? Um, yes, Good. for the most part. I'll take them back. Would you bring Mr. Ford back in here, please? Mr. Ford. Yes. I want you to understand that the reason... You move away from him. A little bit over. I want you to understand something. The reason I've called you back in is not because I'm reversing my decision. The case is dismissed against you because you paid them a certain amount of money and they accepted it in satisfaction of what the debt was. Yes. With regard to you. But I have some questions now based upon some new evidence that I've seen. Yes. And it's very important for me, and I think that you're being truthful with me, and I want you to be truthful with yes. me. Yes. You and Mr. Bennett signed the lease with a guarantor. Yes. How many other people stayed in the house regularly? Just me and Bennett. Anybody else stay there more than overnight? No. Who had a BB gun? Neither one of us. Well, tell me how the house got riddled with BBs. I have no, no idea, Your Honor. You have no idea? No. I'm looking at a house that was destroyed by BB gun. Your Honor, the, the doors had lock problems. The windows wouldn't even close. They had locks that were There are windows in the house. Shh, shh. I didn't ask you anything. I just showed a picture of what the house looked like before the two of you moved in. Mr. Bennett acknowledges that this is what the house looked like before the two of you moved in. When you moved out, the house was a disaster. Now, let's talk about this first. That look familiar? Explain that to me. I thought Anthony was going to clean it out. And you? There was no more room in the trash, and you can't fill it over, or else they won't accept the garbage. That's the rules well, of the city. Just how much in advance did you know that you were moving out on May 30th? Um, I wasn't in town. I had to drive all the way back there seven hours, and I only had it a couple of days. <laughs> Pigs do this. Not people. Pigs leave a house like this. I'm not talking about... There was, not... there was already um, boxes and food left in there before we came Pigs. in. And the pictures... Pigs. Pigs leave a house like this. Pigs leave a house like this. Pigs. I have the pictures, the before pictures. I've seen the before pictures. You acknowledge that that's what it was. Pigs leave a house like this. What month did you rent the house? We re-rented it. It took one month, June 1st. So you, just a sec. Just answer my question. You re-rented the house to whom? Uh, Natalie... Can't think of her last name, ma'am. She's a student? Uh, nope, she works. No, she works at Moth Holler. And how much rent is she paying? 700, Your Honor. And what was your rent? 700. Did they have security with you, security deposit? Yes, ma'am, they did. Did yeah. you keep the security yes, deposit? Yes, ma'am, we did. You did. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,500. That gives you $2,200 to clean up the mess. We're done. Thank you. Parties are excused. You may step out. I guess I'm happy with it. I mean, I feel that we deserved it. We had some pretty excessive water bills and stuff that hindered us from being able to help out, and it kind of hurt us really bad. There was so much damage, we didn't know where to start. I didn't do any of the damages.